Hello, welcome to the Limitless Abundance channel. We are here at the LA Posh Fashion Week. Follow me. Smoking out, going up, put that lane up in my club. Smoking out, going up, put that lane up in my club. Smoking out, going up, put that lane up in my club. Smoking out, going up, put that lane up in my club. We keep it smoke out, puffing everywhere we go. California blood, they love everywhere we go. Slow motion in my club, sipping everywhere we go. They all know what's up, every city. And when she saw me, she was 
you should be a plus size model. And I went, I was there with my boss and my coworker, and I thought, oh my gosh, what do I do? I had a meeting right afterwards with Showtime. People at Showtime knew that I was going to go down and meet with Emmy and at her time her husband. She says, what I want you to do, she says, I want you to get in touch with Ford New York. This is who you're going to talk to. Would you guys think that I would have been a Ford model? Not because of this, but you know what I mean. Because, like, here's this door open up to you. I, I, I did exactly what she said. She met with me. We sent the info, and they said, send us pictures. So what did I do? I decided to style myself. I don't style myself now. I still, you know, Rhea, what do you think? I didn't call you today. I should have. But, um, but the thing is, I decided to style myself. I decided to do my own hair and makeup. And then I went to a friend who was interested in maybe becoming a photographer, and he took my pictures. I blew my opportunity. I blew it. But you know what? It wasn't supposed to be. It doesn't mean that, that just because she opened that door for me, that that was in fact the way it was going to happen. I'm just telling you, we all have stories like this. I've been scammed out of $1,000. Oh, you should be a model. Oh, really? Wrote the check, $1,000. Met them outside what used to be called the St. James, the Sunset Towers. <laughs> right? Took the pictures in the park. Never saw my money. So you have all these great things out there, even when you think the door's been blasted open for you. It wasn't your time. It wasn't my time. And I got signed of nicely styled, simple snapshots. But it's changed now, because now you want to test. You want to be able to show that range. You want to be able to show they don't have time to treat you. You have to test and get in front of those photographers who the agencies are using. The agencies know that they're going to know based off not because you think having a sexy pose and getting the agency. Will a sexy pose get them an agent or a job? No, and just because you're signed doesn't get you a job either. No, very good point. Sit on a board for years and never work. You're not doing the work yourself. Okay. Well, everybody wants everything right now. And you have to serve and take a before you sit down and eat. Huh. My parents taught me that, and I live by that. You have to serve and sit down before. And can't nobody make your plate. You gotta get up and make your plate. And that's what I say to people all the time. Don't expect everybody to give you the answers. Go and search for them. And that's in life. <laughs> but if you get that opportunity, you don't sit back and wait for the next step. It's not handed to you. Like even the girls from America's not top, Next Top Model, they, they get the title, right? What does that mean? You're America's Next Top Model. And? And they have actually come back on Tyra and said, you didn't help me. That wasn't Tyra's job. That wasn't her job. That wasn't her job. So you get selected on a model search. You don't just sit back and wait for something to happen. That's your time to get to work. That's your time to test. And that's your time to flip through the magazines or go through Plus Model Magazine or whatever it is. And who is styling? Hey, what are the fashions? What photographers are doing? The industry's watching what we do. That's probably a good place to start, not to toot our own horn, but I know who's watching. You know, so, so you have that research your fingertips. So go in and, and put it to practice. And you know what? The more you screw up, the better. Because you're just going to learn from it. You should become better from it. So don't be afraid of doing something wrong. If you want to be a model, you already have a risk taker in your head. Intern, too. Don't, every time you do something doesn't mean you have to get paid for Oh, the totally. experience of learning is bigger, it's priceless. So, you know, humbling yourself to intern and say, I don't know, but I respect you enough to learn from you, and I want to just, you know, find out my way if this is something I even want to do. It may feel great right now, but two years from now, you want to be a beekeeper. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs>